Why I don't use Scrum to manage my team, but I love using Agile. Welcome back to Startup Hack. With my 25 years of development experience here at Startup Hack, we turn beginners into full stack developers in as little as three months. So today we're gonna to talk about why I don't use Scrum to manage my software development teams. In short, Scrum adds at least eight hours of meetings per sprint. That's two full days of lost productivity per team member per month. So if you can gain that productivity back, imagine how much faster you'd be going. So this is what I do instead. So first off, I am a two-time certified and trained Scrum Master. However, I've come to find all of the waste that is in Scrum and have found a much more efficient method of managing my team. To me, Kanban is the essence of Agile. Remember, Scrum is not the same thing as Agile. Scrum attests to be Agile, but I don't think it is. Whether Kanban is better than Scrum depends on the context of the project, the team structure, and organizational goals. Both Kanban and Scrum are supposedly agile methods, but I find that Kanban is much more agile. But they're designed to improve project management and deliver value to customers efficiently. They are agile methodologies that are designed to help improve project management and deliver value to customers efficiently. However, they have different approaches and principles that may make one more suitable than the other in certain situations. Here's a comparison and highlighting the scenarios where I think Kanban might be considered for a better fit than Scrum. So one, flexibility and planning. Kanban allows for continuous delivery and does not have fixed iterations or sprints. This makes it highly flexible in responding to changes and prioritizing work as it comes. It's beneficial for environments where priorities shift frequently. Scrum relies on fixed length sprints, usually two to four weeks, for planning, execution, and delivery, which might not be as adaptable to sudden changes in priorities. I don't like Scrum in how it forces all projects and features into a two-week framework. Some features are small and just take a few days. Others are enormous and take much longer than two weeks. So to me, not everything can be fit into a two-week sprint. Not all types of effort fit well into such of a framework that is such a fixed framework. The next one is work in progress limits. Kanban emphasizes limiting work in progress, which helps teams focus on completing current tasks before taking on new work, potentially leading to improved quality and faster delivery. Scrum does not inherently limit work in progress within a sprint, which can sometimes lead to overcommitment and decreased focus on task completion. Roles and meetings. Kanban is less prescriptive about roles and meetings, making it easier to adopt in environments where formal roles are fluid or the overhead of frequent meetings is undesirable. Scrum has defined roles such as a scrum master, product owner, development team, and ceremonies such as sprint planning, daily scrum, sprint review, sprint retrospective, which can provide strong Structure, but may also add overhead. In fact, in my experience, it provides way too much overhead. Continuous delivery. Kanban is ideal for projects that benefit from continuous delivery, such as those in operations and support and maintenance, where work items need to be addressed as they arise. This also I find on smaller teams and fast moving projects. Kanban was originally built by Toyota for assembly lines. It is designed for continuous delivery. Scrum works well for projects that can be broken down into increments that can can be completed and reviewed in sprints, which might not suit continuous delivery models as well. Visibility and adaptability. Kanban provides a visual representation of all work items in various stages of the process, offering real-time visibility into bottlenecks and workloads, which facilitates faster and quicker adjustments. Scrum focuses on sprint goals and deliverables, with adaptability mainly occurring at the sprint boundaries. Scrum focuses on predictability, but to me, innovation is stifled at the price of trying to be predictable. Scaling. Kanban can be easily scaled up and down based on the project's needs without significant changes to the process, making it suitable for teams of various sizes and complexities. Scrum can also be scaled through frameworks such as Safe, Less, and Nexus, but may require more effort and adjustments to maintain efficiency at larger scale. In my experience, Scrum scales really poorly. It doesn't work well on a single team or in extra small teams, and it scales poorly as you get across multiple large teams. So in my 25 years of development experience, Kanban is much better than Scrum in environments that require high flexibility, continuous delivery, and minimal overhead in terms of roles and structured meetings. This is especially true for smaller development teams. It's well suited for ongoing projects with variable priorities or those that do not fit neatly into the time box iteration characteristics of Scrum. So what are your thoughts? Do you love Scrum? Do you think I'm wrong? Make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment down below and let me know. Here at Startup Hack, we love training software developers. With my 25 years of development experience, we take people with zero experience and help them train them to be ready to start as a full stack software developer in as little as three months. So make sure to check out the link down below or go to startuphack.com today.